Hey guys, it is a gorgeous, super sunny Tuesday morning. Wanted to hop on here real quick and give a quick Tuesday tip. Um, this one comes just from a recent transaction. So I thought I'd pass on a little bit of behind the scenes insight to how things work. Um, again, in our market, even though it's starting to stabilize, we still have a real shortage of inventory between about 125 and 200, specifically 125 to 175. There's just not a lot of really good inventory out there. So I recently listed a house for $140,000, super cute. All the big ticket items have been done. Um, we knew that it would sell fast, but we actually got three offers in the first day. So. If you are a buyer right now in the marketplace and you are one of those people looking in those price points and you find yourself in a multiple offer situation, a couple of tips that you should do. First of all, all three of these offers were pretty close to each other. Um, we did ask for highest and best, so we gave them all until the next morning to have the opportunity to come in with their highest and best offer. But in the end, all three of them were relatively similar in price. Ultimately, the person who got the uh, got the house, their offer was accepted. Um, the financing was a little bit stronger and the overall terms were a little bit better. But ultimately, they were really all pretty close to each other. So when you're doing an offer, I was really surprised that none of these had submitted letters to the seller. When I represent a buyer and we're in a multiple offer situation, I do like to include a letter. Now, if you've got a crap offer, but a heartwarming letter, guess what? The letter is not going to be what gets you the house. Uh, in the end, it typically and normally does come down to the offer itself and the financing terms and what contingencies are on there and things like that. But you never know, your offer could be one of three that are all very similar. And if one had had a strong letter showing why they wanted the property, it may have been a reason that the sellers picked that over the others. So if you find yourself in a multiple offer situation, don't be afraid Don't be afraid to write a little letter to the seller explaining why the house is important to you. Um, yeah, that's my Tuesday tip for the day. If you guys have any questions at all, feel free to reach out.